My name is Stephen Brook. I teach 20th century British history. I do a variety of courses in that area. One of the things that I think I'm most interested in is sort of how ordinary people coped with the various vicissitudes of 20th century life. On the one hand, that is extraordinary events like war, but there are more mundane things such as the growth of television, for instance, or the emergence of the teenager in the 1950s. I teach a course, for instance, on the history of film and culture since the Second World War. So what I do in that course is I take a number of films um, and use those to talk about particular issues. For instance, one of the films that I love teaching is uh, Hard Day's Night with the Beatles. It's a wonderful way to teach about the 1960s, about the challenge of youth and the challenge of pop culture, which is kind of exploding British society. In the 1980s, I used a number of comedies by people like Mike Lee, for instance, to illustrate ideas of the new society that comes with Thatcherism. And so using different films can tell you different things about society at any one time. I think the value of a history degree is that it gets you to think critically about the world around you. In other words, you're putting things into context. You're thinking about events as not simply dates, but things that are about negotiation, that are contested, that are argued about. And that is a crucial skill. It's a crucial skill as a citizen, but it's also a crucial skill that you can bring to the workplace. I mean, people are going to ask you as a worker to think critically about things, to assess problems and suggest solutions. The second thing that I think it can give you is the ability to be clear and effective in articulation. And that means in written form and in terms of speaking. We're going to put a lot of emphasis upon improving you as a writer, getting you to communicate effectively. Again, that's a skill that you're going to bring to the marketplace and it's a skill that employers are going to need. They're going to need people who can articulate themselves effectively and clearly. Those values are really powerful ones and they're also values that I think give students power in the modern world.